Hello, everyone. I um, wanted to kind of share with you a little project I've been working on. So, um, all this time you're at home, you've been stuck because of the pandemic, can't go out. You know, you find new hobbies. I got a little bed here I made with stuff so I can create and make things, you know, pass the time. And I love technology. There's one thing people know me, I love technology. But one thing that people know me also know, I'm probably one of the biggest Star Wars fans in the world. I remember as a little kid, it's 1977, my dad taking my brother and I to go see Star Wars. And we're sitting there in the theater and this highly anticipated space movie was coming out. And, and I was already into space. I loved Lost in Space and all those shows. So, you know, I, I was excited to see this. And then we're sitting there and all of a sudden this theme song came on. Alexa, resume music. And I mean, what a grand opening for a movie. And not only that, the words came out, and they're going into the screen. I've never seen that before. And, you know, you got these two ships chasing each other. They're shooting beams of light at each other. So, Alexa, stop music. So this was like, as a kid, I'm blown away. I was like, oh my gosh. This is amazing. I've never seen a movie. It totally changed how space movies were shot. George Lucas was a genius. But one thing it did is it made me obsessed with the technology. I, I remember as a kid, I wanted to be Luke Skywalker. I wanted to have a lightsaber one day. I wanted to have a laser blaster. Problem is, 1977, they didn't have lasers. Well, they probably had them, but they were experimental. You know, Military probably used them. You certainly couldn't buy a laser pointer. It didn't exist back then. You know, we didn't have the technology. Um, so as a kid, I had enough smarts. Even at seven years old, I knew that that laser had to be a very focused beam of light. Because I remember as a kid playing with a magnifying glass and using the magnifying glass to amplify the sun ray and burn ants and burn things on the ground. So I thought to myself, hmm, let me get one of Dad's really bright flashlights. And I put it in this, uh, I guess, the, the toilet, not the toilet paper, but the uh, paper towel tube. Stuck it in there, and I got these magnifying glasses, uh, lenses, and I was able to put them and insert them at certain distances, trying to focus that laser. And the idea was focus the light, focus that beam of light, and when it got to a certain point, you focus it again, and you focus it again until when it comes out the other end, it's a formable laser beam. Little did I know I was onto something. I mean, the general concept of a laser is basically that an amplified beam of light particles. Of course, as a kid, when I went to turn on my new laser gun, all I got was this fuzzy light. I was sad. And that was the end of my career as a laser technician. Never, never did it again. I was disappointed. Fast forward 40-something years, we now have access to lasers. Not like the ones in Star Wars. Can't buy a lightsaber. Um, can't buy a laser rifle. I mean, you can get a little laser sight, put it on there, and a little beam of light. doesn't do anything. But I'm talking about actually buying a rifle that shoots a beam of light that can cause damage, that can burn things. Um, it can actually be considered a weapon. You cannot buy something like that. So I thought, I'm going to challenge myself. I want to build something like this. So first thing I did is I went on eBay, buy everything on eBay, and I bought an engraving laser that goes inside of those graving machines that engrave wood. It's a seven watt laser, seven or eight watts adjustable. And that's a pretty good strong laser. By comparison, your average little light um, laser pointers, those are five milliwatts. Five. That's the maximum allowed by the FDA in the United States. The engraving laser is 8,000 milliwatts, multiple times the power. So the next challenge was I need to put this inside of a toy, a weapon, a gun. Uh, but this laser also is AC power. It's got to be plugged into a wall outlet, okay? So I went on Amazon, uh, Amazon, you buy everything on Amazon, eBay, eBay, Amazon, you can rule the world. And I bought this kid's toy, little toy, uh, little, it's like a little toy gun, little, little LEDs that work and everything. So what I did is I painstakingly disassembled this entire gun, gutted it out, but I kept electronics. I wanted that to still work, just a cool little touch. And the engraving laser, the housing of the actual module is here in the front. Ran the wiring, the control panel. You can see I can cut, I cut it, put it into the side here. And then I had to figure out what I'm going to do about the voltage of the battery. So it's, uh, I knew it was 12 volt, 8 amps. I need, I need to give you a disclaimer. I have absolutely no training in electronics. I don't even know how to use a soldering gun, okay? Know nothing about wiring, nothing. So this all had to just 
it was an experiment. It was something to try to see if I could do and teach myself. So what I did is I bought a battery pack, and this thing has eight AA batteries. And it turns out it creates 12 volts at around a little over three amps. Perfect. Had to rewire the entire assembly. And as you can see, it's all self-contained in this child's little gun. But don't let looks deceive you. This is not a toy. You can see the beam that's coming out of this thing. Pretty strong beam on here. In fact, it's definitely not a toy. So now, this is my childhood dream to actually hold and own an actually laser rifle. This beam is actually hot enough that you can actually burn wood. So, the guy with zero background in electronics was able to build this from scratch. Kind of scary, isn't it? Department of Defense, if you're watching this, if you need a new employee, hey, I'm trainable. I got a head start on your future weapons right here. It's the B-1000. I call it the Helios. Helios is the Greek god of the sun. Uh, I incorporate Helios, high energy laser ion output systems. That's what Helios stands for, and that's the name of the, uh, the weapon. Um, and of course, I owe it all to Star Wars. They're the ones that gave me the inspiration. So I had to own, I, had, I actually had to put the uh, symbol of the rebellion on here to pay my tribute to Star Wars. So uh, yeah, there you go, first fully. Now, this is an eight watt engraving laser. They got 40 watts, 50 watts. Imagine putting that into a gun. Maybe it'd be some future ones you're gonna see coming out, but as you can see now, I now own my laser gun that I always wanted. Pretty cool, huh? All right, see y'all guys later.